What's going on everybody? Hope you're all having a good day. I know I am. Look at this new car I got behind me. I'm just kidding, it's just my rental. My uh, bad Kia is getting fixed right now for, from some hail damage. So they caught me with this new Mustang. Should be pretty fun. But it's not about that today. Today we're going to be working on BMW. I got some more parts in and it should be quite fun. So today we're going to be doing a stud conversion on the BMW. It'll be a lot easier whenever I'm at the track and it'll be a lot quicker to change tires and wheels whenever I'm either at the track or just regularly needed to change them. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do today. I'm gonna show you the tools and show you the kit and then uh, we'll go ahead and install it. So let's get to it. Alrighty, so here's what the stud conversion kit comes with. We have 20 studs here. Mine are 75 millimeter long, just in case I wanna run some kind of spaces eventually or anything like that. It also comes with 20 of these uh, blue aluminum anodized lug nuts, which I probably won't use. I'll probably just give them away to one of you guys considering I really want some steel ones because I know they hold up a lot better. It also comes with two of these high strength Loctite, which is what we need so the studs never fall out. And to install, you're also gonna want this six millimeter Allen key and a torque wrench to torque it down to spec. So without further ado, let's go ahead and install. All right, so what I like to do on my studs with the Loctite is I go ahead and do about halfway, I do a dab and then flip it 90, do another dab, flip it 90 again, just keep rotating until you get about halfway all the way around and then you go ahead and install it. This is a Ryan Nitzel production. Now we can go and do that to the rest of the studs and then torque them all down. So that is how you install a stud conversion kit on your car. It's pretty simple and easy to do. It took me roughly 10-15 minutes by myself. And overall it was a simple, easy install. And I can't wait to do more to this car. I have a ton more parts coming, including all new uh, rear bushings. And as well as we're going to go ahead and do underbody coating to this car because there's zero rust and I want to keep it that way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little quick but it is a pretty simple install. And keep an eye out for all the other videos that come, as I said, with the bushings and the underbody coating. And we're gonna go ahead and also remove the sound deadening inside. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.